the rill. A stingy creek bisects the land. It trickles through the willow roots, in water stepping stones and sand. Your inner conversation mutes. Creation plays a symphony by jury-rigging piccolos and bubble bass and symmetry with Mother Nature's gigolo. When sunlight plays past branch and leaf and falls upon the rippled rill, it forms a unified motif that dances in the grassy frill. Your time stands still in such a place. Forgotten is your worldly pain. You revel in this simple space, this ancient cure for temporal strain. My wander aimless wanders to the dust of lost repose that swirls in certain circles on the desert highway's shoulder filth, where shards of beer glass broken spirits shine like carny fraud distractions in pointillistic patterned stories, sadness cast in blatant disregard. So lest my soul assume this scene, I raise my gaze to kinder view to pass this weeping roadway scar where nature feigns indifference and gives as if she loves me the chance to set my soul adrift in a tranquility of roses. The northern sky alive with fire and light. Ribbon rivers flow in green and teal. The stars believed they own the sky outright. They shine more bright so not to lose appeal. The great gray owls pay homage in chorus, an alto tenor alternating strain, a tribute to the noble auroras. The knowledge of the night seems so arcane. In frigid air, the breath comes short and quick. Inside your gloves, your fingers turning blue, a scene that's replayed since time Triassic, but seems like it is plain just for you. Is there anyone with heart so callous? Won't swoon at the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> 